Let's go. Hi. Hi ho. Hello. Hello. Who is this? Who is this? Wait. Who oh, is shit. this? Do I do do I wait, I'm not ready. Do wait, I do, oh. a, do, do, do do I do a full intro or do I do like a semi intro or Oh gosh. Intro? Um you can do well, do a full one. We have the time. This time is for you. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Konbangwa, this is Catherine Persick, baker in the sunrise, watch protector in the sunset, streamer in the moonlight. Thank you for having me here, Moni. Yay! Yay! Claps, claps in chat, claps in chat. Our sound alert's on. Oh, fuck. They. Well, oh, no. <laughs> well we heard it. <laughs> <laughs> we heard it, don't worry. <laughs> I'll play it again. They are on. Maybe they're just not loud. They're on. Uh, uh, you sure it's on, Moni? Did you hear it? I think it might. It just might not be on on the other screen, but it's on on this view. So we we are slurp we are slurp glorping behind the scenes earlier. So yeah uh, yeah yeah. I'll say yes. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay, right. You came at the right, correct time because today is our very first hot spring hangout. Woo! Yay! Arr, arr. Hi. <laughs> and uh, today, yes, as as we mentioned, I I have a special guest. I have Kathy here. Yeah. Hello. And we're going to be playing a very special game, which I can pull up, right? N meow. Where is it? Meow. Right? Well, did you love, did you... Meow. Here. There oh, we maybe, go. Uh, move out of the way. Hold on. Here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> so, so people can. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Here. Here. Wow. Yeah. Special game. Uh, mm. This game is 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 called Strangers and oh yeah we can be big oh yes look at your croissant belt it's so cute ah! 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 this is this is a newly released design wow 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 yeah I I I got this design out just in time for today <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I can match yeah. Matches. Yes, yes. Yeah, we definitely coordinated outfits for today on purpose. Mm -mm -mm. Um, we're not playing Dead Space. Fuck off. Honestly, I would play Party Animals as well. I, that seems fun. Oh, Do you have it? I heard. Oh, I don't have it yet. I actually had it on my wish list for like the longest time. Oh, really? Mm -mm -mm. It seems fun, but also like with big collab games like that, I, I hesitate to buy them because I don't do large group collabs that often. I don't know about you. Mm, understandable. Mm -mm -mm. But it seems fun and cute. It's cute to collect all the animals though. Yeah. Mm -mm. Uh, but no, we're not playing any of those games. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> sorry to disappoint you. Um, but today we're going to be playing Strangers or Not, which is a mm. conversation game, a game to create human connection. Um, this is based off of the card game We're Not Really Strangers, and it's created by Abdul and Ryan. Thank you, Abdul and Ryan, for making this for your class project so that I can use it for my Woo! project. Yay! Yay! <laughs> I'll, I'll leave the link to the game as well so that if you ever want to play it again if you want to play with your friends go for it it's a lot of fun oof no oof it's it's good this is uh, the opposite of oof this is foo foo <laughs> so basically how the game's gonna work is that there's three rounds the first round is going to be like, uh, I guess, very basic questions about assumptions that we've had about each other. Because we, yeah. we are mutuals, but we don't know each other like a lot. 
Because we, 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 we met pretty recent. Well, when did we meet? Well, a couple months ago. I'm Maybe a couple right. months ago. Yeah, I think so. I think so. So we know each other, but, but we, we don't like no, no. Yeah, but we mainly interact on Twitter. Mm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So we don't really know a lot about each other. Yeah. The fact that we're both artists. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> that's about it. Yeah, like you're an artist. You make your own models. Let's go. Uh, uh, <clears throat> Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah. artist and rigor. <laughs> so talented. Wow. Wow, but Moni's also too talented. No, everybody in chat knows I'm dumb. I <laughs> I'm too dumb. Check out Moni's video. No. Thank you. No, it's not, it's not about me. It's not making it about me. Okay, we're... <laughs> anyway, I was doing the, the game explanation. So... Um, first round is our assumptions about each other, and then the second round is gonna be telling each other like in depth, a little bit deeper questions about our lives, how we think, our oh. what is what is the meaning of life, and then, well, it, I don't think it's always that deep. Sometimes it's just like, what's your favorite ice cream, and then, <laughs> yeah. and then the third round is like after we have gone through all that conversation. What, how do we feel about each other now? Or about ourselves, even? And, like, mm. how has all of this talking changed the way our, our, our blooming friendship? I can't talk. It's yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. All right. Are you ready? I'm... Um... What if I say no? Oh, well, I think if you, uh, well, I, I'll wait. Wait for two hours. <laughs> I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. I'm ready. I mean, I mean yeah, it's, it's not like I, I, it's, it's, it's fine. I can, I can, I can wait for two hours for you. It's, it's, I want. It's, it's now, it's now a waiting room stream. It's, it's... <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, I'm gonna start the game. Uh, I think... How many cards? I feel like this is too many. I'm gonna do seven to start, and we'll see yeah, how that goes. Yeah, seven sounds, sounds nice. Alrighty. So, the first question. Oh! We're both artists! Oh my gosh. Oh, but... But, I, but how are we gonna do this? <laughs> we didn't plan for... I didn't plan for this! Can we skip this one? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can skip this one because this is hard to do. Some of the questions might be irrelevant, which is a problem with like using the website. Is like, mm. yeah, it's hard to do them not not uh, not in person for some of these. Ah, oh, so these are like meant to be played in person. Right? Normally, normally, yeah, they're meant to be. They're designed to be played in person. So we might run mm. into a couple of these, but it's fine to just skip them, which is why we picked a. Uh, seven cards all right skip that one pretend we didn't we did that one skip okay so the second question is what subject do you think i thrive in at school did i fail any hmm. oh, so we answer for each other so so i can say what i think if you failed anything i don't think so i feel like you seem very studious to me on a first impression i think you're hard working and i think you probably excelled in art because <laughs> you're an artist, so I'm assuming, and you want to go into animation, so that's what I'm assuming is like art or like film or something is is I'm what you excel at. I'm sweating a lot the moment you said that. What? <laughs> <laughs> Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Well, depending on the context, is this for like our latest education or is this like uh, high school? I I don't know. I think any 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 time any time. Okay. Hmm. Oh wait. So do I answer? Yeah. I answer yeah. Uh, well, okay. Yeah, so yeah. okay. Based on your assumption, this is true. In uni. Hmm. In high school. Uh. uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. I don't know how I pass high school. I'm gonna be really honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god, okay. <laughs> okay, for you, Moni. Yeah. Hmm. You're the type of person that I think would be very good 
at art. Uh, mm. That that's 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 obvious. But another thing that I would like to guess, and this is one of my wild cards. Okay. You'd probably be good at science as well. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Why do you think so? I don't know. I don't know. Like I think like for people that I know what that are like artists, they tend to be pretty good at like uh, the general subjects in like science side of things. So like biology or chemistry or physics especially biology because you have to draw uh like uh like you know like those structures of plants and bodies and everything like that yeah and but then <clears throat> but then i know that artists are not good at one thing <laughs> pe oh no <laughs> You think I failed PE? I think you'd fail PE. (laughs) (laughs) That's actually really funny. Oh my gosh. Um, Okay. That's really interesting. Yeah, because I I do like science a lot, actually, as well. Uh, Mm. I, I, in university, I did get my bachelor's degree as a science degree, technically. Ooh. Uh-huh, uh-huh. It's not a normal science degree though. I didn't take like biology or chemistry, so it's kind of hard to explain. But mm-hmm. um I guess I guess it's like similar to computer sciences for most um oh, programs. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I see, I see it. <laughs> um but but yeah, I did enjoy art a lot in school. I took a lot of art classes. But weirdly enough, I was like not very good at art class. <laughs> oh. But I think art class, at least in North America, has a bias against like art that's like kind of anime ish, and that's what I like to draw. Mm. And so, I, like, we were studying like you know old European painters and stuff, and I was like, I, I think this is like kind of interesting, but this is not the kind of art that I want to make. And so, the, I, I feel like I, I didn't do that. I did okay, but I felt like I was like the star art student, or I wasn't known in high school for being an artist, actually. Um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, and and uh, I did I did a lot of PE, weirdly enough. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah. uh, I joined, I, joined uh, the, I was in the table tennis team. I always well, tried out for other sports teams, but I was not tall enough to get into them because my school had a lot of stupidly athletic tall people. Um, but I, but yeah, I was on the table tennis team. I was on the track team for a little bit. Uh, I took like morning PE classes because I, I liked working out in the morning for some reason. And I lived very close to my high school as well. So it was really convenient. And we had a lot of like gyms and like we had a track field and stuff. Oh, um, that's pretty cool, actually. Uh huh. Uh huh. So I was, I was like pretty active when I was a kid, and then once I got to university, I, like so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have time. I don't have time. I, un- understandable for me, right? Art classes here in Indonesia. Mm. We all really focus on shapes and patterns mm. most of the time. So mm. basically, art classes in at least in hi- my high school. We learn how to draw cubes, perspective, and all that. Their perspective, first perspective, and and all that jank. And then aside from that, we learn patterns because we have this traditional, uh, I guess, pattern fabric called batik. Oh, oh, we yes. We try to yeah, we try to learn the basic version of it, like the basic patterns of it and how to draw it. Yeah, we oh, don't really get so into cool. uh, like like paintings and all that. Oh, interesting. I think that's a missing opportunity, though. <laughs> we should probably start doing that. I Put mean, that yeah, curriculum. it's fun to try like different kinds of art. Like I took art classes in a lot of different things. I did like graphic design. I did like painting. I did like sculpting mm. for a little bit as well. Um, like screen printing. Like we made T-shirts and stuff. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. So cool, a lot of fun. Uh, a lot of our art classes are basically the same stuff over and over again. Even the stuff that you learn 
in high <clears throat> school. You already learned it in like first grade. Mm, so, I see. Um, fundamentals. Art classes sucks here. <laughs> well, at the same time, though, I think fundamentals are good. I think like the what the mm. art classes that I took were just like, oh, just try like make random shit, right? But and that's fun, obviously. But at the same time, I think my drawing skills really suffered because I didn't learn how to draw properly for the longest time. I would draw based on vibes, and so I I can't do perspective. <laughs> I can't. Uh, my uh, anatomy is questionable sometimes, and like uh, I I always felt like my my painting was better than my drawing. If that makes sense. Oh um, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Makes so sense. maybe I don't know. We need a bit of both. I think you need a bit of both, probably. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's a nice balance. I mean, I guess it's because like it's high school and it's not like a main focus subject because we all and at least at least in Indonesia, mm. we all learn like science. Everyone studies science here. Oh though, really? No one. Every, even though like we have this, we have two majors actually. Okay. In high school, we have two majors to pick from, oh. which is the science major and the social major. It's, the reason okay. why the science major is extremely popular is because you can go to any university with any major you want with your science major. Oh. And social major, while it's easier, you can only pick a select few that are related to the social major mm-hmm, mm-hmm, when you mm-hmm. go to university. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So uh, everyone just goes to the science major even though they're like dumb as shit. Example, me. <laughs> Well, I guess you knew that you wanted to go into like the arts that mm-hmm. early on, then. Yeah. Oh. Mm-hmm. Which is why uh, I actually took a study outside of the country because, of, because again, it's not really a big focus in the con- in my country in the first place, mm-hmm. and even then. They don't even care. They only care about persevering, not develop developing. I mean, it's getting better over the years, but it's, it's taking be- very baby steps, I'd say. Mm, yeah, I got you. I got you. Oh, how interesting. But yeah, I can imagine it's like really hard if you have to choose between one of two things, and then you're kind of screwed if you choose a different one. Like, and then you have to, I assume, take extra classes if you want to switch or like get into a different university, like. How does that? Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. That sucks. It's it, 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 bad. School here is a different <laughs> story. I I when people say that you like when people say complain about like oh U.S. education sucks and underdeveloped as crap. I'm just sitting there like <laughs> you haven't seen shit. <laughs> I'm just saying, dude. Over here is a different story altogether. <clears throat> it makes literally everyone I know is like, either they want to get out of here mm-hmm. or they want to stay here and just do whatever because their parents want them to, mm. which is another a, a very reasoning. But at the same time, there's too many people that are like that so yeah. that's why we don't really have the best reputation I see, overall i see mm-hmm. yeah. but yeah i guess it's uh i guess when it comes to like american education for me right mm-hmm. as far as i know as far as i know they're pretty like it's very so lot i don't i don't know if this is if you have like other language classes we only have chinese classes here actually mm. and it's not even like public schools in public schools they don't even have any extra language classes oh i went to a christian school that's why i, oh, I, I see chinese classes i don't know about your stuff money you uh, take french classes yeah right? so in canada it is required that you take french classes until ninth grade like ninth year which is oh. I don't know why it's kind of arbitrary but I took French classes until like 11th grade so like sophomore year and um, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm still not very good at French but <laughs> but technically <laughs> I took the classes so so there and um, yeah I think we we did have a lot of variety but it varies a lot depending on which school and which city and and like because Canada is such a big country 
that it's really hard to have like a very standardized curriculum. So each province has a different idea of what they want their education to be, different rules. And then federally, nationally, they have different rules. And so uh, it really depends. It really depends. But um, yeah, I was lucky that my parents specifically picked a house that was close to a school that like had a lot of variety, I think. Um, but I know some people that are my age that went to like a slightly different school that was just like a little bit further down the road. And then they had a lot less opportunities to do like different languages or like different, like some didn't even have like certain art classes. Um, and yeah, so it, it yeah, it's, it's, it depends. I don't know. School is hard. School is weird. <laughs> do, the, do your best. Oh. But yeah. So basically, like every school is like different mm. for you then. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, so cool though. It's really cool. It's, yeah, I guess so. But then it really depends. Like you really need to pick ahead of time and like live in a specific area ahead of time. Because if you live oh. outside of the area of that school, they won't accept you unless it's like a special circumstance. Um, yeah, so uh, I don't know. I was lucky, I guess. Or my parents thought about it <laughs> when they moved here. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, that, that, that means that's a lot more planning than. Yeah, you're like, you need a plan when you're a plan baby. Much here. No, really? <laughs> we don't plan much here. Whatever you got on your paper when you graduate, like middle school. Oh, you got a good, you got a good score? Well, here's a couple of schools that you can apply to. Pick whatever you want, doesn't matter. Uh, where you're at it's fine and i think like some of my classmates back in middle school they even like moved to like different islands mm. actually to go to their designated like high schools it's crazy oh wow this is the same. i i know like it's a lot more common for universities to like move all over the place mm -hmm. like students move all over the place to go to their uni but this also applies to high schools apparently Wow. Which is a little bit concerning, not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, that's but intense. Mm-hmm. So, uh, but thankfully, my parents are very understanding of me not wanting to go anywhere, but find a school that that's close to my house. No traffic, at least. That was a lie. I actually, my high school had like the most horrible traffic of my oh, whole life. No. It was so bad. I think like my school was located right on the road. That's like the most crowded at seven in the morning in the city. Oh God. <laughs> and I start school at seven ten. by the oh, way. Oh no, it's so early. <laughs> what the heck? I have to go there. I have, I have to leave at five. Ah! Like, like five to even like get a chance to at least go to school and have a breather before my first lesson. Oh it's my gosh. Crazy. Okay, yeah, that's crazy. You are so dedicated. I, I, no, I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> you think? That was, that yeah, was that was rebel. my impression. <laughs> Maybe not. I was a rebel in high school, Moni. Oh, damn. I, I turned a new leaf the moment I became a freshman in uni. <laughs> nice, nice. That's so funny. Okay, should we go on to the next question? Mm, yes. Mm -hmm. Ta-da! Oh, see, this is another one where, well, I guess we could show our VTuber shoes. Okay. Okay, everybody free feeds. Here we go. What Whoa. do my shoes tell you about me? Well, um, you, you can go first if you want. <laughs> they like oranges. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Is orange your favorite fruit? No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Do you actually pick the orange because of the like the onsen aesthetic? Partially. Oh. It kind of evolved mm. over time. But the um oh. like my have you seen my original model? Oh, uh, like the first ever model? The uh Oh. Is it the one that you posted recently? Semi recently. This one. Oh, yeah, that one. I saw. Yeah. So this one 
is very orange. And originally my branding was like like kind of orange themed because I was like, oh, my character kind of looks like a an orange. So I'll just make mm. all of my stuff orange themed. That's um, so weird, man. Really <laughs> <sure>. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna show your feet again later. <laughs> this is uh, so silly. But then when I made my new model, I was like, oh, mm. I'm I'm like I realized that I like, transitioned into like the onsen stuff afterwards a little bit later, and then mm. um, it kind of matches the orange and the onsen aesthetic. And then I would, I just wanted to have like a little homage to my previous life, I guess, like my previous model in my current one. Mm -hmm. So that's why there's the orange anklet thing. But that's only for this one. For my new new design, I I took it out because <laughs> it didn't match. But um, yeah, that's 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 what my my lack of shoes says about me, oh, I suppose. I see, I see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, your shoes are so cute. Let's zoom Thank in. You. Zoom in on those shoes. Oh no, I'm getting. I need to get out of the way. Okay, there we go. <laughs> My tails are a menace. It's okay. Look at these shoes. Okay. Um, <laughs> I think <laughs> my my assumption about you based on these shoes. I feel like these are very like practical shoes. They're like cute. They match oh. your outfit, so they're coordinated, right? Mm. Uh, it, it makes me feel like you're a very practical person when it comes to footwear. Like you're not really um, about to wear like 10 inch platform heels or anything anytime soon. Um, you prefer comfort probably and like still stylish, but like comfortable so it doesn't hurt your feet. Maybe you walk around a lot and, uh, and uh, you have socks. Socks are nice. Socks are cozy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Also mm -hmm. matches. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I actually bought some socks last night. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I actually bought some socks last night. And your assumption about it being very practical, you are actually very true. I only... I don't have a lot of shoes mm -hmm. because most of my shoes are practical and they're flexible for any occasion. <clears throat> mm, yeah. I think like the closest I could get to like something that's like the least practical is Mary Jane's, but that's about it. I have lovers, I have sandals, but nice. they're all like matching for like different location. Yeah. And that's why you will never see me wearing heels. <laughs> you don't like heels ever? Not even I, for like fancy stuff? I actually really hate wearing heels, Moni. That's fair. Because I, I think the thing is that I think I have a fear of like falling down the stairs. Oh no! <laughs> and the heels for some reason, especially like those heels that are like very small in width in the first place. Yeah. That, 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 like stilettos? They're giving me, yeah, they're giving me like anxiety. <laughs> so I'm like, no. Yeah. Might as well not. Yeah. Mm. No, thank you. Um, I have a question in the Wait, chat. Are those, uh, sorry, they were asking if you had a Reebok. Are they branded shoes? Are you sponsored? The Reebok, can you sponsor me? I can't need <laughs> money. <laughs> please. Free, free shoes and free money, please. Thank you, Reebok. Yeah, I want, I want some shoes and I want some money. Mm -hmm, sponsor mm -hmm. me, thank you. Yeah. But money, actually. Mm. Since uh, your model, yeah, the, the, no shoes. What the shoes no do shoes. you actually wear, though? Oh, um. So I, I feel like I, I have too many shoes, but I really only wear like three. So I have in the summertime, I wear sandals hmm. almost exclusively because I like anything that's convenient to put on. I like slip-on shoes. I like sandals. I like flip-flops in the summertime. But then, um, where I live, summer is very short. It's only like a couple months, maybe like three or four months. So most of the time it's raining. I live in a rainforest and uh, it's, it gets really wet. And so I have two other shoes that I wear a lot regularly. One is just like these leather boots, um, like black leather boots that I can also just slip on. And then another is um, 
Vessi, not sponsored, but sponsor me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and they're they're just like waterproof sneakers. So like I don't know how they make it. I guess they have like a special fabric that they use to make their sneakers waterproof. Um, so they just look like regular shoes, but then when you step in puddles and stuff, or like if it's raining, um, they don't get wet. Um, and yeah, those are also just like, they just look like black runners. They look like black slip-on shoes. So I also have generally pretty practical footwear, but I, I like wearing fancy shoes sometimes. I, I have a couple of heels. Um, I, I used to wear heels exclusively, actually, a little while ago. Really? Yeah. What like, happened to that? Uh, it's kind of just a pain in the ass. I like, <laughs> I like heels because I like feeling taller, and I also feel like I I like when my legs look longer, right? And it matches with certain outfits. So depending on what I'm wearing and where I'm going, I will still wear heels. Like if I'm going out for drinks or something, I'll wear heels. Or if it's uh, like a fancy occasion, I'll wear heels. But on a day-to-day basis, I don't really wear them anymore. But yeah, in university, I wore them all the time because I was like, all right, I'm trying to impress, right? I'm trying to look hot. I'm trying to... <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, to present myself as someone that's like really put together all the time, I guess. But then it, it changes the shape of your foot. I don't, I don't know if you, you've experienced this before, but like, you know, like Barbie feet? That's oh, kind of yeah. It's kind of what your foot ends up doing because you're wearing them all the time, and you're yeah. walking only on the tippy toes or like the whatever the the front of your foot. So it changes your arch shape. So then when you start, you, you can't really wear uh, high heels and then flat shoes and alternate between them all the time. You have to kind of pick one because your foot's gonna feel uncomfortable if you keep switching. Oh. Uh, yeah, and then eventually I was just like, who am I trying to impress? It's fine. And then I stopped wearing that. <laughs> I'm going to stick to my flats. Yeah, flats Flats are comfy. Flats are comfy. <laughs> oh, we, have, we have questions in chat for you. I don't know if you oh. have chat open. <clears throat> oh, I had chat open, but okay. I let you take over. Yeah, so we, we, we have questions about your design. Okay, from yeah. Sai. Does the, what does the key open, and is that a croissant belt buckle, and is it edible? Okay, so the key, uh, it is the back door of the Persic Bakery, the bakery I own. It is a replica. It is not real. Don't even bother stealing it. You won't be able to open the back door anyway. <laughs> and the buckle croissant is sadly not edible. No. But you could get an edible version when you go to the Persing Bakery. <laughs> They're all 30% off if you come anytime between. Someone's knocking. <gasps> I'm very sorry. Oh my gosh. I was like, oh my god, FBI open up. I thought there was. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be really honest. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna be safe and turn on turn on noise suppression on Discord because around this time everyone in the in the neighborhood has construction ready. And uh, I'm really scared it's gonna go through on stream. <laughs> okay. Sounds good. Don't worry though. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, if you go to the Percy Bakery at any time, 8 a.m. until 5 p.m. in Beep 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 Forest, you could get these croissants edible for 30% off. Yum. Thank you. Yum. Good ad. Good yeah. ad read. Yes. Sponsored. <laughs> A businesswoman gotta do her job. <laughs> oh, I love croissants. It's like my favorite baked good i feel like oh my gosh i haven't had croissant in forever actually, what Moni. well because you keep I turning did, them I into like belts as... yeah <laughs> <laughs> true i i'm a i'm a bigger fan of sourdough actually oh yeah sourdough, sourdough is really mm. good have you ever made it yourself uh i tried yeah it's like a pandemic hobby i know a lot of people started making sourdough I tried. The, the, it, it didn't work it, out. It didn't work out. No, you can try. And, I, and then and then the and then uh, the oven broke, so I haven't baked RL in forever. So yeah. Uh, mm. I see. I see. 
Anyway. I haven't baked in such a long time. You should. If well, if you want to. Well, if my oven's not broken anymore. Oh, your yeah. oven is broken. No. Oh. It's broken, Bonnie. No. I've been trying to find a way to get it fixed. Everybody. Or actually buy the oven myself. No. <laughs> buy another one. Oh, uh, I'm just as close to just buying my own oven at this point. Yeah. Because um because um uh, my family doesn't bake. Mm. I do the baking stuff. So. Mm-hmm. My dad doesn't want to bake except if it's like lasagna. So <laughs> only meat. Bake meat. Oh, yeah. Only lasagna's allowed. Only lasagna's. Oven. I yeah. see. Oh. Well, hopefully everybody everybody go go to go to Catherine's channel donate Donate a little bit for the oven funds. Okay, don't don't start this money. Please don't. don't donate yeah. for the oven. Oven fund. <laughs> I cannot believe <laughs> Twitch is funding my oven. <laughs> yeah. Ah. For the oven. Woo. For the oven. And then you have to bake something and then send it to to everybody. Yeah. Gotta start. The business RL as well. There's a bakery RL branch. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. All right. Anyway, let's next question. Do you want to read this one? Oh. Do you think I've ever been fired from a job? If so, what for? No, no. I don't think you've ever been fired from a job. But also, I'm not 100% sure that you've even had a job. <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't know what it is. Well, I think it's just you are younger than me. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying that you're incompetent. It's just the chat. I'm not saying that you can't have a job. I'm just saying that I don't know if you have had a job. But well, that's that's just my first impression. Am I wrong? Well, my job is more of a contract. Oh. I work for the I work for a Minecraft marketplace team actually. Oh. Yeah, like one of the teams that I partner for the marketplace, and I'm like, I'm one of the, I'm I'm one of the people working in there. So, uh, that's I don't know if you count it as a job. That's a job. That's a job. If you get paid but to I do a thing, it's a job. Yeah, but I'm not fired. I haven't got fired at all. Yay. So That's good. Yeah, I got a good track record. <laughs> so far. Yay. But yeah, I think it's mostly because I don't really have a proper full time ever yet. It's mm-hmm. just my most of my job are like contracts and freelancing. I guess you could call streaming freelancing. Mm-hmm. That is that that that's basically it, really. But, uh, nope, never gotten fired before. Nice. And what about you, Moni? Well, I don't um, know. What do you think? What do you think? I think you've never gotten fired, but you're close to getting fired. Yes. <laughs> oh, really? I was trying to think. Oh. What a, I... Mm, I don't know if I've gotten close, per se. Maybe. Mm. Uh, Well, I don't know for sure. I've never... uh, Okay, so here are all all the jobs I've had. My first bear job was McDonald's, naturally, of course. Mm -hmm. And I think I got yelled at once or twice from the manager. But I don't think I was like fired, fired. I, I, I wasn't like almost oh, fired, but they were like, hey, stop that. And I was like, oh, okay. And that, so that happened a couple of times, I guess. But that's probably the closest thing that I can think of. So I almost got it. <laughs> yeah, almost. <laughs> uh, next, we have. Do I look kind? Explain. Oh. Yes, you do. Oh. You look so friendly. You you're such a cutie. 
And I feel like your model is also like perpetually smiling. <laughs> what a sweetie. And I, how can you own a cute little bakery and not be kind? Sweat in all the toxic city <laughs> no! for comedic effect that I do to um, enemies in competitive games. Sweats. Oh my god, Sweats do, do you, do you turn toxic? Shot. Do you turn toxic? Are you a toxic gamer? I do. I become toxic for content, Moni. Ah. That's all I can say. <laughs> I'm, I, you could say I'm a little, quite competitive, but if it comes to like, oh my god, God damn it! I want to eat. I want you to eat a battery. What the hell? That, that's for comedic effect. I I do it for content most of the time. I yeah. joke around, mm -hmm. but uh, but I, I I just take things easy. I don't really get extremely competitive. I'm not I'm not too much of a toxic gamer okay. to the point that it's actually toxic. That's good. But, but, but it's really nice of you to think that I'm kind and sweet. Yeah, I mean you've only ever been kind and sweet to me, so. I can only speak from experience, but I think so. Oh my god, you gotta make me cry. This is question no. five. What no. the heck? Don't cry. <laughs> See, chat also agrees with me. People are so nice. What the heck? It's freaking almost nine in the morning. I'm not ready for this. What the fuck? <laughs> Hmm. All right. <clears throat> so for the moment of truth, <clears throat> Moni, aka Monister of VT. Yes. You are. You look like a very sweet person. Yeah. I don't know why, but like, okay, so, okay, we're gonna talk design. First of all, okay. design wise, you sound you look like someone that would be like, that would be really sweet and like be very nice. And when someone you know approaches you and be like, "I have a bad day," you'd be like, "No, it's okay." Give them a little pat on the back and also give a shoulder to cry on. And this is one thing, one particular thing that I think would be really, really cute. You'd be like a protector to like all the little guys. For example, when it's like raining hard, you use like your little hat as like an umbrella to cover up for everyone. How cute. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, remember the times we interacted, at least. All the times we interacted, you seem like a really sweet person. Yeah. I remember like the first few times we exchanged opinions on like certain uh, things, right? We were like, Yep, you're pretty base. Ah, oh, yeah, thanks, man. You're pretty base too. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you're a kind person. You're kind and sweet. This is a this is a compliment galore question. Yeah, this is such a cute question. Thank this you. Is such a cute question. Thank you for saying all those nice things. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, you want to read the next one? Oh. What? Yeah. Oh, oh, this one's fun. Okay, what's the first thing? Why do I sound light all of a sudden? <clears throat> what's the first? <laughs> what's the first thing you notice about me? Uh, the first thing I noticed about you was your eyes. I'm <laughs> just deadpan stares at the camera. Uh, <laughs> But I, I think the way that you draw eyes is so cute. It's like very simple, but very effective. Um, and they're expressive and they're adorable. And um, I yeah, I just really like your art style because it's like simplified, but it's like very cute, which I have trouble doing myself. So I applaud anybody Aww. that's like really good at doing like cutesy designs that are not chibi designs because it's like hard, it's hard. Um, mm. Yeah, so I yeah. I think the first thing I noticed about you is like your eyes and also your hair because I I like bright red hair. I'm a big fan. Mm -hmm. Red, that's a nice color. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. One thing that I'd say 
is that uh, when it comes to like my art style at least, I try to have a nice blend between TV and anime, right? Yeah. Mhm. Mm and uh, I think one thing that you notice the most in my art style, my art style looks pretty similar to basically Omori's art style. If you know about Omori. Oh yes, I do. Hmm. Yeah. So basically, it's kind of like, kind of like that. But like the uh, well, obviously the complete difference is like the shading and everything like that. But I kind of try my best to stand out. I think that's why I picked this art style in the first place. And I'm really glad people liking it so far. It looks like people are liking it. That that's good. <laughs> that's, that's 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 an A for me. That's a plus. Yeah. So, ah, Ooh. And when you mention about the eyes. This is actually a fun fact. When it comes to when I draw like other people, like friends, <coughs> mm -hmm. other VTubers, mm -hmm. the pupil, the little white pupil the white. part, yeah, I try to make a different shape for everyone. Oh, mm hmm. So everyone has unique designs. Apparently, actually, a friend of mine, I did this for like another a friend of mine. It actually started to become a part of their main design, and I was like, and they were like, oh, I, I got this idea from you, by the way. I'm like, oh, that's so cute. <laughs> I'm very happy you really like it as well, Moni. Yeah, yeah, I really like having like the. Uh the what is it the pupil that the inside part be different or fun yours should be a lily pad yeah that makes sense <laughs> <laughs> i think that's like that well that's i'm partially the reason why i have it right because like when i was designing my models previously i think i was i was just picking random aesthetics that i liked but i wasn't thinking too much about like branding or like silhouette or like any of those like important like you know character design fundamentals or whatever so with this one mm. i think i don't remember where the hat idea came from i think i just saw like a art piece that had a girl and she was like holding a leaf over her head as if it was a hat or like kind of like an umbrella mm. kind of thing and i was like oh that could be a hat that could be a vtuber design and then oh uh, hat yeah, and then it kind of eventually transformed into this. <laughs> oh, it's a, it's a really good, it's a really good design element, though, Moni. Oh, which, thank you. One which brings to the first thing I notice about you. I think I actually know you from, uh, you know, being, uh, knowing you from, uh, like from some of your other friends actually mm, so mm -hmm. it's kind of like coming from there and then at the time you don't even have your current design right now when i when i first saw you you were still the green haired and uh, one thing that i noticed is that i really really like your model's lips oh wait should i do the it's... original version yeah Gosh, which one is it? I think it's this one. I think it's like it too. Yeah, that one! Hi. <clears throat> yeah, really? I don't know why, but like... Okay, so I really like how you draw the lips. And I also really like... Because like, I noticed that uh, most like VTuber eyelashes, they're like more of the darker color scheme. You try to match it with your hair color, and I think it's, it's a really nice touch, actually. <laughs> Thank it's you. It's a really, really nice touch. And, uh, yeah. I, I really like your art style a lot, Moni. Aw, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. That means a lot. When you mention about your art style to me, when we uh, first try to uh, talk a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. I, I really... I really like the way that you say that, uh, if I remember correctly, it's been a long time ago, that uh, you try to <coughs> throw in a little mix of like the 90s anime art style as well. I think it reflects pretty well to it. 
I'm trying. I think I still haven't gotten it to where I like specifically want it to be. But yeah, I am still trying with like anime, like 90s anime style shapes and also line art. Like I've been doing more like of the the line art technique where you have two layers of line art and you make one blurry underneath. So it looks kind of like gl glowy almost. Oh, that effect. Uh -huh. Yeah, that effect. And like putting like grain filter on top of stuff to make it look a little bit mm. retro um but yeah i feel like my art style is it changes a lot <laughs> from <laughs> from painting to painting it's like it's sort of different but uh yeah thank you i uh, that meant a lot to me when you were like you when you said that you thought i had a nice distinct art style i was like I, really <laughs> 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 but it's true though <laughs> Maybe I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I. I don't know. I'm at least you. At least you put an effort to make it your own. You know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying. Mm -hmm. But yeah, thank you. Thank you for looking at my lips, liking my lips, <laughs> liking my lips in a non weird way. I, I I like your lips. It's 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 artistically <laughs> nice to look at. Yeah, see, artistically, artistically, it's yeah, different. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's different. It's 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 artist artistic. Talk. Artist talk. It's here. just it's just artist things. <laughs> you ever stare at someone's lips for for artistic reasons? Yeah, me too. Yeah. Same. Yeah, same. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Next question. Uh, but um, I think this is the last of the level one round one questions. Oh. Do oh, you oh. think I fall in love easily? Why or why not? Sweats a lot. Oh shit. Mm. <laughs> oh fuck, Moni. I don't know what to say. It's just, if I say yes, you might be offended. If no. I say no, you might be also be offended. I would never I... be offended. Aww. Yeah. Think? No. Is this like in like a romantic way, right? Uh, yeah, like in a romantic way. Yeah, I'd say no. Interesting. Because uh, what's your name? Mm, you. I I know I know you I know you like to simp. <laughs> you like to simp. Uh huh. But, but I think when it comes to the same thing, there's a limit, right? right? There's always that one really nice neat limit we got going on over there. And I think as far as I know you, you tend to be pretty respectful of that limit, actually. Mm. Mm. Which, uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna be really honest, it, it, it's a rare occurrence. As far as I know, sweat. <laughs> sweat. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think I think I think I'd say that you don't fall in love as easily, but you do simp a lot. I do. That is correct. Yes. I do simp a lot. I do simp a lot. I think. Uh, yeah, this question is tricky because love is like a weird. Love is weird. So it's a weird concept altogether. Man. Yeah, it's weird. Um, so if you asked me this and I was in high school, I would say yes. I think I had a lot of crushes when I was younger and I would crush on a new person like every week. It'd be like, oh, oh this person was nice to me. I have a crush on them now. Or like, oh, this person um, like gave, gave, looked at me and smiled. I have a crush on them now. <laughs> like that's all it takes. Like, <laughs> oh, but high school crushes. High school crushes. But I don't know if that's considered love, like falling in love. I don't know. Mm. And then the older I got, the less it would happen. But um, uh, but I guess in terms of like my love now, like my husband now, we mm. fell in love fairly easily, like fairly quickly. Oh, so sweet. <laughs> Cute yeah, like our uh, our first date was really long. We we hit it off really quickly. There's a lot of sparks, and then we hung out for like 
I don't know, like 10 hours or something that first day. And then um, he asked me to be his like steady girlfriend on our like second date, basically. Mm. Uh, so we moved pretty quickly, but now we're married. So it worked out. Oh, that's so cute, though. Yeah, thank you. Thank that's you. so sweet. Once again, congrats. <laughs> probably been months since we yeah met. thank you thank you yeah it's been uh we got married in april so it's been a couple months now it's been like at least six months because we had our like 180 days already oh. mm -hmm. uh, but for you hmm. i feel like you simp as well but like there's of course the normal simpage level that everyone that everyone has. I think falling in love in love. I'm gonna say no as well. I don't. I don't know. What is it? Is, is it true? Points at aromantic flag. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! Bro, I'm. Ah, how did I? I didn't even know. I keep the I keep it very private actually because I don't want you know my sexuality to be a content. It's more of a private thing for me. It, I mention it once and never again, mm. and people just move on. Mm -hmm, which mm -hmm, I think mm -hmm. it has its pros and cons, but at the same time, I don't really. I'm not really that suitable to be an advocate. I guess if you say. Mm. If you can say so. Yeah. So that's why I just kind of like keep it to myself most of the time. And, uh, you know, and, uh, it, it was like arrow week. I'll be like, oh, happy arrow week. I'm also arrow. Peace. And never mentioned it for the rest of the year. <laughs> yeah, it would pop out uh, once a year and be like, yeah, hey. Like, yeah. And then, mm -hmm. I, I, yeah, yeah. And then just hide again. It's fine. I feel like, I feel like for me, coming out is not really the biggest issue for me because like, Again, like since like I live in a country where uh, it is a pretty sensitive subject mm -hmm. for like that kind of stuff, LGBT yeah. and everything like that is a pretty sensitive subject and everything, and uh, especially since I'm in a Christian household, yeah. You know, mm -hmm. uh, I just they I I just like yeah I'm not interested and they kind of and my parents were like okay, it's so, fine. Like, kind of technically came out to them so in a way that's cool. <laughs> In a way, that's yeah. cool. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. I'm glad they didn't like freak out or anything. Yeah, I just told them that I I I didn't tell them that I'm arrow or I'm a part of that. I think it's like complicated to like have to explain it, but if you're just it's like yeah, it's complicated to explain yeah. it. Yeah. I, just, I just told them I'm not I'm not interested in any time in the future, and they were like, okay, as long as you're doing whatever makes you happy, and I'm like, okay, Aww. yeah. But yeah, falling in love, I guess if you ask me this in high school, I'm also the same case as you. Mm. I guess I fall in love pretty easily. Mm -hmm. I hop in and out of uh, online relationships pretty often mm. uh, back in high school. But but I kind of got it over it ever since college happened. So that, 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 it's over after that. And uh, I think my last relationship was in... Uh, was actually like before I started VTubing. We, oh. yeah, and then we kind of we, I guess part ways. Uh, after, uh, like a a few months after I started VTubing. Yeah, they're very respectful of my VTubing career. I'm very happy oh, with that. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, and and there is and we just tell each other. Yeah, we kind of need to focus on our own thing because. I was also in my last few years in university, so I was like, I don't have time for this. <laughs> Who has time and then for eventually, love? Uh, yeah, eventually I just became Arrow, and I'm like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is why, like, when people do smash or pass, which no offense, it is, it's not something, it's not my cup of tea. Mm -hmm, to be mm -hmm. really honest. That's why I never apply to any of these. That makes sense. You never sense. see me apply to any of these. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I just I but I wanted to <clears throat> try to break out of this uh I tried to loosen up a little bit more I guess mm -hmm. recently 
but I've been loosening up to, I guess, <laughs> non-existent 2D anime people. <laughs> <What's>... <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. That's why I express my love. Are you real? No. Okay, good. Marry me. <laughs> yeah, if you're if you're Riosli, call me. Even though you're not a real person, uh, bark, 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 bark. Thank you. It's it's like bark. <laughs> Is that what the Sims do? Yeah. Do they bark? <laughs> that tweet was so funny when I saw that. I was like, oh my god. Oh. Uh, they barely bark in you're, public. It's okay. That's why. You're you're a budding simp. One day you will I, become a full blown simp. I will. I. I. It's 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 over. I'm a simp for Hatsune Miku. Oh yes. Well, it's, I it's worth simping over. My I have two figurines over. I'm gonna get more in the future, nice. and I know in the future I will probably throw in like a hundred bucks eventually for Hell a Miku yeah. figurine out of nowhere. I have no idea, but Hell I yeah. will do it, and I will regret my money my my money decisions because then again, money is not easy. No, what uh, am I doing? But it's okay. <laughs> Hatsune Miku's life. I love life. Hatsune Miku. Yes, she is I life. Love Miku. She's so cute. Do you have any two D obsessions right now, Moni? Any two D obsessions? Uh, yes. all the time. I feel like <laughs> always. <laughs> Don't I? I, I feel you got like a shine going on, buddy. I um no. Uh, well, well. Uh, sweat. I'm sweating. I'm sweating. Okay, so I just like characters. I like designs a lot. Right. I do participate mm. in Smash Passes a lot, but that's because like. I'm not worried about so much the smashing part, or I, I just want to. I just want people to gas up my design, honestly. So that's why I answer that. <laughs> and usually, people are pretty nice and respectful about it. And I, I think, like, I ran one earlier for my debut. Yeah. And it was mostly just like me appreciating like the little things in their design usually, but I'm not actually romantically interested in anybody. Let's get that clear. Like I am married. Yeah. I'm married. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not gonna e date you or what the fuck. Like I. <laughs> um. But it, it's more just like to to simp over the two D design of a person, not like an actual person. And so mm. I do that really easily. Like I do that with like basically the entire cast of JJK. I do that. <laughs> 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 like everybody, and and like it doesn't matter what gender. I will simp. I will simp. Um, Everyone in that anime is simpable. I swear to God. They are so hot, and for what? And for what? I I like. I was just like the last episode. I was like, oh my gosh. I uh, we were we are fed well in in terms of hot people in the JJK fandom. However, every, I can tell is is every every everybody's getting hurt. So it's it's also difficult. <laughs> My hot people are getting hurt. Oh, you! Well, some people are also into that. It's a, it's a whole thing. <laughs> Sweat even more. <laughs> Not like this. <gasps> Gojo is not my favorite, actually. <laughs> but he's hot. He's like, he was designed in a lab to be attractive. I think, you know. But that's I don't necessarily like people that are just hot. I think I also I'm attracted to people's personalities and like what they do that makes them extra hot. And I don't think Gojo's personality is hot. His outside is hot, but inside is not. Does that make, <laughs> that make sense? <laughs> I just sound like a Dr. Seuss book now. <laughs> Why do you sound like a doctor? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, anyway. Uh, yeah. next. I think this is round two now. Yay. Wait, we answered. Yeah, we answered this. Uh, this is round two. Uh, I forgot who read the last question. It's been a while. Uh, it was, I think I, it was me. Okay, I'll read this one then. So, what are you more afraid of, failure or success, and why? So, for this round, we answer for ourselves. We don't answer for each other. So... I'm asking you, what are you more afraid of, failure or success? This is really funny because I actually had a therapy session with my therapist last night. Oh. We talked about this exactly. <laughs> it's fate. Well, okay. 
Mm, I am. It's pretty obvious with like the amount of stuff I've been doing, and I'm very afraid of failure. Hmm. I'm very afraid of failure because I have so many projects going on. I got, I got this project that's gonna be next week. I got another project that's coming out on December. Mm -hmm. I got another project that's on the way. Mm -hmm. At least the completion date is at March or April. I I've got a bunch of stuff going on, and I also on top of that, I got other things. To, like streaming in general, I got commissions, I got work. I also have my other RL stuff, like finding a full time job, and then having that slight bit of failure just will break me. I say, oh no! Oh my god, this is getting really deep. Oh shit, it's card number eight. Well, well we. <laughs> We don't have to get that deep. If you if you feel like emotional or uncomfortable, we can always skip. But I mean, I mean, I'm 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 fine. Okay. I'm fine right now. Okay. This just is that, reminder. Like, like, I guess like for service level, service level, mm -hmm. it's just like, well, failure kind of sucks, <laughs> and I kind of don't want that. Yes. At least ever. <laughs> so at that point, I'm just like, yeah, failure is. Not, 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 not for me. Mm -hmm. Not. For me. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. For me, I think it depends. It depends. I think, for the longest time, I was afraid of failure, and I think for a lot of things, I still am. Like I have this complex where I'm just like, I have to be good at something right away, and if I'm not, then I'm not interested in it. Like I just don't mm. want to do it, and it's for like usually it's for like dumb things. Like all my all my family and friends are like really into golf right now for some reason. I don't know. Why. And then <laughs> uh, they were like, "Oh, you should come play golf with us." And I'm like, mm, "No," because I tried it once and I didn't like it because I wasn't good at it. Oh. And and so for things that I like don't have a natural tendency towards, I typically avoid them. I think because I'm afraid of like failing at them. And I feel like if I'm gonna fail at something, then I I don't really want to do it. But the the only things that have not been, uh, that that I don't have a fear of failure of, I think is like VTubing, like streaming, and uh, and and in some ways art as well. Because I've been doing art for so long, and I I've, I've been really shitty for a long time. But then I saw myself improve, and I think like. Seeing myself improve has made me less afraid of failing because I I see that the failure was necessary to achieve the success, right? Mm -hmm. And with VTubing and streaming, I've been trying to do a lot of like random stuff. I mean, this is one thing that's included. Like I've been trying different ideas, different projects, and some of them have failed. Like I had a different show concept before that you know about that I yeah. gave up on. I did like two episodes of it and then I realized, you know what, this is not working out. This is not for me. It's kind of a fail, but that's okay because I learned from it and I yeah. can do better next time. And so mm -hmm. for stuff like this, for some reason, like I, the failure is not so much, uh, not, as, not as bad, at least. I don't know. Um, but maybe it's also a matter of like how big it is. Like if it's a big life thing, then maybe it's scarier to fail versus like me streaming is like so inconsequential for most for the most part. So it's like it's okay. It's just it's like oh this one stream didn't work out. It's fine. I'm not gonna quit screaming, right? So yeah. Mm. I guess if you put it that way, that's actually very understandable. Mm -hmm. You put it that way. Yeah. Next. 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 But before that, I'm really sorry, but I need to go to the bathroom. Oh, you know what? Yeah. It's, I feel like maybe we should take a little bit of a break every round. So, because it's been yes. like an hour. <laughs> so, let's take yeah. a five minute break. Please. We'll come back in five Please. minutes if that's cool. Yeah. I'm going to yeah, get yeah, a snackies. Yeah. Everybody hang tight. All right, we'll be back. I need to my water. Yeah, yeah. Go every... Okay, okay. Bye. Bye. See you in five minutes. Okay, go, go, go. I'll also go.
Why are you whining at us? Why are you whining at us? Oh, hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> okay, wait. Uh, let me...
open the stream back up as well. Here we go. I have snack. I have water. Water. Does That's water good. snack? Water can be snack. I mean, I can just eat up a crush on my belly if I want to. <laughs> I eat some metal today, boys. Mm. Right, crunch, crunch. Anything can be food. Money? Oh, I'm having chips and salsa. Oh! Mm -hmm. so, so good. Oh yeah, God. it's tasty, but I, that means I'm gonna be crunching. I don't know if I should mute myself so that the crunch is not overwhelmingly loud, but um, I wanted a snackies. <laughs> It's okay, I, I don't mind the crunchy. Okay. Crunch ASMR. I don't like the smack the lips ASMR. Just the mm. crunch. Mm -hmm, mm-hmm. Crunch. Crunch, crunch. But it was funny because like my salsa was in the back of my fridge. Oh so it was frozen. <laughs> I was like Oh Uh <laughs> Oh no It's okay, I microwaved it. Now it's Regular temperature. It's all good. Alrighty. Shall we? Next question. Yes. Yeah. You read this one? Oh. Oh. Whoa. This is like a therapy thing. <laughs> Boy, God. Is, am I, is this therapy? <laughs> um, a little. Kind of. But we also... You can skip it if you don't want to do it. Oh, yeah, go for it. You can skip this one. Okay. It is a physical activity. Yeah, we don't do physical activities here. It's just crazy. Yeah. Whoa, what is this? Okay. We're getting deeper. Why do we remember certain things vividly, but not all of our memories? Hmm. It was like crunch in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Take your time. <laughs> Enjoy the crunch. Mm. Um, mm. I feel like my memory sucks. I don't have a very good memory. I don't think my memory is very reliable. But also, to my understanding, most people's memories are not usually very reliable. Mm -hmm. um, but I think we just remember certain things vividly. Like, if I think about the memories that I have that are, like, really clear memories even though they're old i think it's just like mm. i don't know like the concept of core memories like this i learned something really significant that like changed the course of my life somehow or like i felt a certain way in this moment and i mm. i either really really enjoyed that feeling or i really really didn't enjoy that feeling and so my brain thought okay this is something that's important enough to like make sure that i remember kind of thing mm. yeah yeah i think so i don't know what about you for me i don't know i only remember practical things really things that are in my brain that i was like oh i should remember this i remember and but if like things are like like if I if my brain immediately when I see this thing something right and then it'll be like okay you don't need to remember this I will not remember it at all mm. so it's like very selective of like what they want to remember or mm -hmm, what not mm -hmm. to remember but there's definitely some situations where oh do you know that feeling Monique when you when you just laying down in your bed right you're just chilling now that and all of a sudden something embarrassing that you did seven years ago <laughs> pop up in your brain and you'd be like ah for like five minutes yeah that happens mm -hmm. to me mm -hmm. like oh, once a month once <laughs> like, a month yeah. that's really that's really often yeah it, it, I, I, I try I, it, at least it's an approximate i'm not that crazy <laughs> i don't think it's crazy I, I feel like that's your brain just telling you like hey remember this this thing that was cringe don't don't do that <laughs> Uh, you, for some reason, so for some reason, my brain always keeps telling me this one memory that I did when I was like three, four years old, right? Oh, very baby. So the Incredibles just got released. I love the Incredibles in the theaters. Mm -hmm. 
we watch The Incredibles, and I start being Elastic Girl. I just jump around and <laughs> do backflips and stuff in mm-hmm. the freaking living room and the bedroom and everywhere. And my dad is just staring at me the whole time be like, well, I don't know what to do with this kid. I'm going to be really honest with you. I think that's like the thoughts that's going through his head the whole time. I was three. <laughs> Aww, baby. Yeah, so, so he was like, well... It is what it is. And then like the next and then like obviously probably like that night he he's just gonna put me into some sort of like uh date for speed or something like that. He lets me watch his playing his video games. But yeah, yeah, that that embarrassing memory of me just doing jumping jacks and doing that really cool landing pose. That's the one that I cringe the most. Even talking about it to like oh <laughs> <laughs> Wow, thank you for sharing. That's really cute. I think that's really cute. It's really cute, but at the same time, I was freaking three years old. I was over ambitious, thinking I could do gymnastics. No, that... look at me now. I'm an artist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, ah. now the thing. Now, the, now your comment about artists being bad at PE is starting to make sense. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I wish it wasn't true. Oh no. It's okay. I don't think that's cringe. I think that's really cute. You're just a, an active little baby. Yeah, I was active until I was five. Mm-hmm. And after that, my my, fist, my my PE grades just became average or passing mark. <laughs> that's okay. That's, that's all you need, right? That's all you need. That's all I need. Mm-hmm. It's not like I'm being an athlete or anything. It's fine. <laughs> I'll be okay. It's fine. It's not like you wanted to, you know, be a gymnast or like a superhero or whatever for real. It's no, fine. I would It's fine. I wouldn't. It's okay. I wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't want to do it. Oh, no. Uh, I'm good. Yeah. Alrighty. Is that next. yeah? Next one. Who's reading the mm-hmm. next one? I forgot. Wait, is it you or is it me? I don't know. I should keep better track. Okay, how about I'll do the odd numbers and you'll do the even numbers. Oh, that was okay. That this number is the even number. Yeah. So we'll try. Okay. We'll try doing that. So I'll do the next one. Oh, okay. Um, finish the sentence. Strangers would describe me as blank. Only I know that I am blank. Huh. Interesting. Mm. We're unlocking another layer. I'm trying to think of what, what, because I feel like, did we not both answer the last one? Hmm. Anyway, uh... Oh, okay, that makes sense. So, like, you try to think of, like, what other people's impression of you are. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that does make but sense. you're really what you are. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I... I don't know. This one's kind of hard for me. I don't know yeah. if you have an idea. If not, we can skip. I think, um, for me, I think it's just a little bit o- too obvious for me to answer. Oh. That's a thing. What is obvious? I think, like, if it, people would, I think I would say that strangers would describe me as. Uh, what's the name? As artistic. Mm, mm-hmm. Only I know that I am. Uh, what's the name? That I am. What's the name? Not as artistic as people would say, actually. Hmm. Because a lot of the things that I see are basically all are, are all like just a combination of all the things I've seen before. I just 
mishmash them together. I'm gonna be really honest with you. Yeah, not okay. like in the way that's like like heavily referencing, but like in one way or another, it's just like my ideas. Uh, so much as it's nicer to say that it's, I guess, a little bit more original than it used to be. It's really hard to find inspiration. If people are saying in general, oh, it's really hard to find being original. I have a very hard time mm -hmm. being original. Like, I think if you look back at my base design, it doesn't really look as much of a baker. It's really hard for me to think outside of the box most of the time. Maybe other people would say that, oh, you gotta, you, you do a lot of art. You're very talented. I'm like, Sitting there just like, I don't think outside of the box as often as an artist would, you know? Interesting, and interesting. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. yeah, I guess uh, if we really want to get into it, like, what is what is art? <laughs> oh, <laughs> let's go! Because, like, uh, there's a really famous book, it's called, like, Steal Like an Artist. And basically, the concept of it is, like, nothing is original. Everything has been done before in some form. And what artists in the modern age do is we basically just like take things from before, match them together, and then use a little bit of our own experience in life to like make something that's new. And uh, that's I, what, think that's yeah. I think yeah. that's true. I think that's true. That's what that's what a lot of people would say, but there's always that little little guy at the back of my head who's like, "Be more original, your forehead." I'm like, "Okay." <laughs> the little gremlin is imposter oh. syndrome, probably. Yeah, the little the little motherfuckers be like, "Hey, you're not being original enough. The this person worm. is gonna call you out on being on the, being a little stealer. You're gonna get X longer, and then you're gonna get canceled, and you're gonna graduate by force." How do you feel about that, Catherine? I'm just sitting there like, okay. No. Yeah, scrapping that real quick. <laughs> There's a lot of scrap ideas just because of this. It's really insane. A lot of second guessing. So that's why, like, at the end of the day, uh, I just like, mm. I try to get a little bit more, get to think more outside of the box more. I'm trying, my, I, like, I'm trying to. Which is, uh, which is really nice. It, I'm, I'm seeing some improvement. But before, it, it, it was not as great. Actually, like, back in when I was in boarding school, actually. Mm -hmm. Back in boarding school, we, mm -hmm. had, we had to take a personality test. Oh, wait, like the MBTI one or the different one? It's, it's, like, it's like a different one. Oh, okay. I, th I, don't, I think it's ex exclusive to the school. Mm, okay. I was grouped in the, uh, in the personality type that cannot innovate, which is very ironic. That was one <laughs> of the it. options? That sounds terrible. Yeah, I'm good. Uh, apparently, the personality type that I got... They say that I'm more of an imitator than a than an innovator, which is not the bad thing. Which means I can uh, I I have better senses and like in like uh I have better awareness. But the problem is that I cannot really think outside of the box as much as other personality types. Mm, and I'm just sitting there like, well. Ah, uh, looks at my sketchbook. Ah, uh, uh, point. <laughs> interesting. <laughs> interesting. Mm -hmm. hmm. Yeah, I guess everything has its pros and cons too, right? Uh, yeah. Getting better though. Yeah. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm sure. Take that personality test. Yeah, exactly. I think they're like personality mm -hmm. tests are describe where you're at when you take them but they don't mm -hmm. dictate your whole life right and you yeah. can always train to be better at certain things that you might not be good at right now yes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um what about you money i don't know i feel like <laughs> my joke answer is a strangest would describe me as intelligent only i know that i'm a dumbass but because <laughs> 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 like I, 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 for work, for my practical job, I have to do a lot of thinking. It's all problem solving, complex systems, technologies, 
um, and all this stuff, right? So I feel like um, the average person, if I if like I don't, I don't talk about my stream to the average person. So if the average stranger met me and I told them like, yeah, I do like um, software design is like my job. They're like, oh wow, you must be really smart. You must be really good at math and science and shit. And I'm like, uh, I actually failed one of my math courses once. <laughs> oh! uh, I barely passed. I think the, I was in university too. I think the professor passed me just because she felt bad for me because I had already had to retake it one time. Uh, Aww. <laughs> but I made it, so it's fine. But like, in in my like regular IRL life, I feel like I'm perceived as like uh, as a very analytical, intelligent person, but I'm actually very much like a feelsy person mm. a lot of the time. And um, my solutions for problems when it comes to my job is usually based on feeling. So like, how do I think someone would feel as they're using the software versus like, how do I think the software should work on a functional level almost? Um, yeah. if that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, it's exactly. So I, I do have one more than one brain cell, but, but they, they all are used up during the day. So by the time I stream, we only have one left. Uh, <laughs> understandable. <laughs> yeah. Oh, me it's okay. You can just use one brain cell. Yeah. Just one brain cell is enough. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm a feelsy person. I'm a feelsy person. Yeah. All right. Next one. You read this one. Oh. Oh, shit. Getting, is it, oh, getting intense here. <laughs> you always, as always, if it's too intense, we can skip. Never be afraid. It's okay. We don't need to mention names exactly, right, for this one? I mean... Uh, yeah, if it's like super personal, you don't have to. You can be a little bit vague about it. I'll, I can just be vague about it. It's fine. If you get to, if you could get to know someone in your life on a deeper level, I'm making my voice deep because there's the deeper word. Who would it be and why? Oh. Am I okay? Am I muted? Sorry, I'm just crunching. I, I'm really self conscious. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I'm here, I'm just subconscious about my crunching because, like, I'm eating a large volume I of chips. You no, I'm not AFK. I'm so sorry. I'm just like, I just like don't want to crunch while you're talking. I can crunch while I'm talking, but not while you're talking. So I'm, I'm <laughs> don't mind me if I mute. It's literally just me eating chips. Don't worry about it. Crunch. crunch. <laughs> no crunch. It's awkward. Uh, my crunching is so loud. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll do the audio for myself. Okay. Crunch. <laughs> stop! Stop! It's not helping either. No, just 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 answer, just ask the question while I crunch in my little okay. corner. All right, Modi. Once again, if you could get to know someone in your life on a deeper level, who would it be and why? Mm. Whoa! Mm. Oh, wow! Mm. Oh. Um. This. Okay. I mean, I'm gonna try not to cry. I. <laughs> oh god. Oh no! <laughs> no! It's okay. I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry. Um. But um. Well, I don't know. We'll see. But uh, I the the, the, the person that I I because I played this game before, right? And um, when this question comes up, I usually say my dad. Um, but for those of you that uh, aren't aware, uh, he passed away this year. Mm. Actually, just like a, I think like a month and a bit, a month and a half ago. Um, mm. And it was a surprise. And so I'll never actually get the chance to, at least not directly from him, but... He does have family. We have family in the Philippines, and then we're visiting next year. So I'll be meeting a lot of his family for the first time um, and getting to know him better, I guess, kind of indirectly. But um, my dad was a very private person. Like, he didn't really talk about his life growing up for the most part, and I'm assuming that's because it was really hard. 
um, like, I don't know, a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff. He's a very secretive person. He's very shy, but very loving. And uh, yeah, so I think if, if I, 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 ho I hope to get the chance to know him on a deeper level next year when I visit his family and stuff. But, um, but yeah, that's my, that's my answer. Oh, now I feel like I've made it sad, but I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> oh, now I don't want to answer. Oh, no, no. Sad. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, no, Catherine, come here. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I, I can't give you a hug, but I, this is the best that I can do. But it's, 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 aww, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, Moni, because uh, the next the person I'm going to get to know more is also not here anymore. Oh, good. My mom. Yeah, it's your mom. <laughs> oh, ah! So basically, uh, for context of what happened, I lost my mom last year, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it was it was it was not a great time. I'd say it was not a great time. Uh, yeah, relatives, at least on my mom's side, did not really help either. So mm. basically, at that point, I'm just like, eh, well, shit, and like I just try to uh, get to know about my mom more. Uh, from just what's the name? Uh, from just my very few sources is basically my dad, at least the reliable sources. I'm gonna be really honest. Yeah, <laughs> he would know. So uh, yeah, he, my dad's very cool. He's very chill Aww. with what I do. So yeah. I'm very happy that I have my dad in the first place. So uh, I guess I could try to get to know my mother more, at least the things that she never tells me about, because she never really talks a lot mm. about herself mm. that often when she was still here. So uh, I wish to get to know her a little bit more, even though it's not really in the most respectful way, because she's not here anymore. <laughs> she's not yeah. here to answer, but I... I we do what we can do, yeah? Yeah. 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 Oh, man. <sighs> wow, yeah. That was... <laughs> well, we're still here? Yeah, this we're, is we're, actually... We're... This is card number 12! <laughs> yeah, yeah we're, we're around halfway. It's okay. Let's uh... go! <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you. Thank you for sharing. We, we do keep going. We persevere. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. I don't know. I'm strong. You are strong. Yeah. You are. You're strong too, money. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Well, this better be a funny question. Now. Yeah, I know. Uh, uh, it's doubter questions. Come on now. <laughs> oh no, it's still a doubter question. Ah uh <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Okay. It's okay. I'll be I'll come up with a funny answer. It's fine. Worry. Yeah. We'll <laughs> Let's do a, a joke answers now. Um, if you have, when was the moment you realized you weren't invincible? Uh, so I made this tweet, I think a couple of days ago, where I hit my head on the wall and I stubbed my toe at the same time. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was fucking painful. Ow! It was... And uh, I had a history where... Uh, I had history of falling down the stairs. What? <laughs> a history? What do you mean? <laughs> uh, uh, his, uh, hear me out. Okay. I like to rush. <laughs> uh, I see. All right. All right. I uh, I I like to rush. Uh -huh. And uh, it it it, it caused us some accidents. Mm -hmm. It's only some bruises on the legs. I, honestly, nothing too bad happened. I did not break a leg or anything. I did not break any bones. Thankfully, no head concussions. <laughs> Except for the one time I hit my head or a couple of days ago. That was painful. Ow. <laughs> but it made me realize, I guess, in like, in like, if you want to feel it in a more serious way, it makes me feel like, oh, well, uh, I may be good at drawing. I may be good at entertaining people. But I'm still very stupid and hit my head against the wall and stub my toe very often. So <laughs> yeah. I'm really bad at taking care of myself physically. That that's yep. one thing I gotta work on. 
And so uh, I try to at least be more careful. I am betting that I, I actually stubbed my toe today. <laughs> Again? It was so fucking painful, bro. It was. I was trying to get it. I, I don't know what happened. I I, I stubbed my toe in a wardrobe. It, it was, ow. <laughs> Yeah, I'm. I'm not very careful. I yeah, and I I told my stories about like falling down the stairs to my friends, to my two closest friends, mm -hmm. which are in my VTV group, and ah. they were like, "Ah, you why? What the fuck? Can you like not run?" And I'm like, "But I have to pick up delivery. Can you not run delivery? Okay. Gotta go fast." I gotta go fast, or yeah. else the delivery guy will be like honking the hell out of the whole neighborhood just because I'm being like two seconds late. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You gotta understand here, culture is very different. I I, I pull up the culture excuse. Ooh, the culture card. <laughs> the culture card. Yeah, you can't be inconvenient to everybody else around you. You gotta go fast. Yeah. 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 I'm very surprised because like uh, people know uh, like. My dad knows that I can get loud very late at night because mm -hmm. I stream late mm -hmm. at night. Mm -hmm. He doesn't know that I'm streaming though. I mean, he knows I stream. He just I thinks we're yelling, yelling for no reason. He doesn't, oh, know okay. a, he doesn't know I'm a VTuber. He doesn't watch That's the stream. Okay. Oh, please don't. <laughs> but, uh, but, um, we, we have, we're very surprised we haven't got any noise complaints yet. And I don't want my first noise complaint to be because the driver is the delivery guy being really loud because I was being late. So yeah. I rush and oh. it made me fall down the stairs a few times. A lot of close calls. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Again, no bro no bones broken. So I'm going to keep going. <laughs> yeah. Very stupid of me, honestly. What about you, Moni? Uh... Well, I feel like the I all I I haven't had a lot of really bad injuries or anything, but there's one that's significant that I like to tell people to freak them out. But uh, it's it's not like it's life threatening or terrible or anything, but it's just like um it's it's a it's a rare injury, I feel like, related to toes, which is <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting. Oh, God. Uh, I, once upon a time, I think I was like seven years old, and I was on vacation in the Philippines, and we were at a, a, like, a, like a water park of some sort. Um, but, for, okay, for context, the Philippines is like, it's like a third world country, right? It's like, or like it's a second world. I don't know. It's like in between, depending on where you are. Mm. And so maybe not everything is the best quality or like the nicest maintained in this water park, all right? Mm. And so I was going down this slide, a water slide, and it's like a tube shape one that, exists, that swirls around, it goes really fast, and I really liked fast slides. I was really like a, a thrill seeker as a kid. I liked rides and stuff. I liked spinning, spin kind of things. Oh. And so I, yeah, so I, I went on this water slide. I went really fast, and I'm since I'm so small, I flipped over so that instead of on my butt, I was like on my belly going down this tube slide. All right. Okay. And then in this part of the slide, I guess like the way that they put it together for some fucking reason, which doesn't make any sense now that I think about it in hindsight, but like there was nails that connect the parts of the tube together, right? To the pieces okay. of, the, of the tube slide. And okay. uh, since I was flipped over on my belly, feet first, going high speed down a slide with water, uh, my toenail, like my big toe on my right foot, slammed into one of the nails in the slide. Oh. And then I, I was like, ow, that really hurt. But then I continued down the slide because like, what the heck am I supposed to do? <laughs> right? <laughs> I, I think I didn't, I didn't really process what happened. Um, and then also part of it is like I, I couldn't I, I used glasses at the time, but I didn't, wasn't wearing my glasses oh. while I was in the water park, so I couldn't really see what happened to my toe. I just knew that it hurt, and then I noticed that it was red, and I was like, oh, okay, I think I need to go see my dad because my toe really hurts. Um, and then this is kind of an aside, but there was like this cute Filipino boy, and he was like, hey, <laughs> are you okay? Like, <laughs> you need help? And I was like, no, I'm fine. I was, I was like trying to be 
chill about it. <laughs> and he was like, okay, like if you say so. And then I, 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 I like hobbled over to my dad and I was like, dad, I think something happened to my foot. And then, and then he's like, oh, because I was like holding it. I was holding it with both hands. So I was like hopping on one foot like a flamingo, holding it with both hands. And he's like, oh, let me see, let me see. And then he looks at, he looks at my toes and he's like, we have to go. And I was like, wait, what? <laughs> And then um, we he he like gets to the car. We drive to the hospital, like to the ER, and like um, I had to get surgery because um, apparently what happened is that my so my big toe right half of it came off, like half oh. of it just ripped off, cleanly oh. ripped off. But then the what issue the was if it ripped off, it would have been fine. I would have just grown back, right? I just bandaged it up, but. Um, there was like a chip of paint that got lodged underneath my toenail, like the remaining half of it. And so in order to take that out, they needed to just remove the rest of my toenail and then let the whole thing grow back naturally and clean it up. So I had to go get surgery to get my toenail removed uh, in order for it to, to do that. And uh, yeah, that was my worst injury. And that's that I was a little bit more cautious of uh, water parks ever since then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I still wear open toed shoes. Sometimes. Oh. In the summertime. Good lord. <laughs> <laughs> I just expect like you're like like when you described the nail, I was just expecting oh probably her toenail <laughs> got killed out. Nothing bad happened. Mm -hmm. and, and then you mentioned the surgery. Brown coat underscore low key oh cheered eggs oh. twenty five. It wasn't oh, the real bad. goes on to describe <laughs> a literal torture method. <laughs> Good lord oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Uh, I mean, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I it's guess. fine now, right? It's, it's fine it's now. Me. Yeah, it's normal now. It's been many, many years. But um, yeah, I guess technically that is torture in a way. Mm -hmm. oh, Lord. Yeah. But anyway, that was my answer. So <laughs> we can move on Jesus now. <laughs> uh, I think it's you reading next. Yeah. Oh. When you're asked, how are you? How often do you answer truthfully? Hmm. Um, I feel like not that often. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, Why? Well, it's like, I feel like at least where I am, like people just ask, but they don't really care. Does that make sense? Oh, like, people will be like, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, hi, how are you? How's your day? But that's almost all part of just, like, saying hi to somebody. But they actually politeness. don't give a shit. Yeah, it's like, it's like a politeness thing. It's like, oh, hi, how are you doing today? Or, like, if people ask me on stream, I usually will say that, like, oh, I kind of had a gross day. Or, like, oh, yeah, my day was okay. But, like, for people at work or something, or, like, people I just see on the street, I'm not going to tell them like my life story like i'm not gonna be like oh yeah like actually i've had a really rough morning today and like all these things and like explain what happened to me that day i'm just gonna be like yeah i'm fine how are you you know like they ask you how you are <laughs> i'm fine but i'm not fine because they would never understand <laughs> oh my god i know this uh, yeah exactly loki yeah so like how often do i answer truthfully honestly i i would say like Maybe only 40 or 50% of the time I answer truthfully, but for a lot of interactions, it's just like, yeah, I'm okay. I'm fine. You know, I don't want to get into it. So it's not, it's, it takes up too much time. <laughs> but I, usually I am okay for the most part. I'm like neutrally okay. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. What about you? Well, oh. I do this thing called. Never touching grass. 
So <laughs> oh. I only talk to people I trust. So I only talk with my dad. I talk with my friends. Mm-hmm. I only talk with you know people I uh, I like people uh, the VTubers. Mm-hmm. And usually, I'm not the one that ask how are they doing. Most of the time, they they usually the one ask me first. I guess it's because of culture reasons. Like we don't we don't do that kind of stuff here. I see. And then uh, what's the name again? Uh, when they ask, oh, how am I doing? I would yeah. just say, <clears throat> I guess that eighty percent of the time, I would say answer truthfully mm-hmm. because the people that I usually ask that are. Close Most of them, the people I trust. Yeah, really. That's good. Actually, so yeah. yeah. So, uh, I, of course, like sometimes, like if I go outside, like you know, I we use like I guess we could say like Uber, but like it's Uber for motorbikes. Oh, we have that kind of stuff here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, interesting. So it's it's like a very it's like a lot cheaper way to travel. Yeah, it's really nice. Huh. And then um, usually like. On red lights, they usually try to make small convo. Oh, I that's see. when I was like, when I was like, oh yeah, um, fine. Yeah. Even though I almost <clears throat> fell down the stairs again that day, I would say, yeah, good. Yeah. Yeah. So it's 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 mostly because like um we I live in a place where like people just tend to just again politeness first of all and second of all, I don't think people will even listen to what I say anyway. <laughs> I would say yeah, yeah, I'm good, and then they're like, "Oh, cool," and then we waited until the red light goes down. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> makes sense. Makes sometimes sense. they ask like, "Oh, where do you go?" I'm like, "Oh, I'm going here." I'm like, oh, cool. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Small talk. Small talk. <laughs> Small talk, and everything. It's so awkward. Oh my god, <laughs> we're so extroverted here. I don't know why, Moni. Mm-hmm. Everyone in this country is so extroverted. Interesting. Like, like in not in a like stranger way, but like the moment you feel like <clears> oh, <throat> one thing connect, everyone became an extrovert. That's why I never fit in in school. No. <laughs> but getting a little bit out of topic. I just like I guess like ninety percent of the time I just answer truthfully because I mm-hmm. only talk with people mm-hmm. I trust anyway. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Makes sense. Makes sense. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, we have a question in chat. What country? Oh, so, well, I'm Canada, but Catherine is from Indonesia. Yeah? Yes. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. We're right above Australia, and we're right below <coughs> uh, Malaysia. Malaysia. Mm-hmm. And Singapore. Mm-hmm. And we're the 15th largest country in the world. We have a bunch of islands. So We're many. not just Bali. Thank you. <laughs> true, true. But I feel like everybody just knows Bali. They just I visit sure people that they just... only cares for Bali. Boo! All my homies hate Bali. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry for going off topic. This is another thing I talk about with mm-hmm. another person I collab with regarding like Indonesia stuff. Yeah, yeah. If you want to go to Indonesia, don't just go to Bali. I will actually decimate you if you just go to Indonesia just for Bali. I don't care if you have the budget or not. If you if you only have the budget to go to one place in Indonesia, go somewhere other than Bali. Mm. Thank you. What would you recommend? <clears throat> like if I ever wanted to book a trip. Where should I go? If I if you were to book a trip to Indonesia, right? Mm. I'd say you get the most of Indonesia by visiting Jakarta, the capital. Mm. At mm-hmm. least for now, because we're moving capitals apparently. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I guess reason, you can just but... do that. Yeah. Yeah, for some reason. <gasps> this is really depending because, like, if you want to keep that up with that city life, you can still want to feel familiar with where you come from. Mm-hmm. You go to Jakarta, mm. you still get that culture aspect. Oh, this is still Indonesia, not just miss uh insert city with in a different country. I have to pay more and all that. But if you want to go to somewhere that really approaches nature, I extremely recommend going to Toba Lake. 
which is in mm. on the very left north north northwest side of Indonesia. They got they got a really pretty lake surrounded by pretty trees. Ooh. Nature. We we have a lot of stuff that's like regarding nature that's like really very very pretty. Yeah. And it's like literally everywhere. I think the best part about like going around Indonesia is to explore. Mm-hmm. Staying in one spot won't get you enough. I'm gonna be really honest. And staying in Bali alone is not gonna get you anywhere because mm-hmm. I know. Yeah. I know this is from experience and this is from like what I heard from people. One day you're gonna go to one place like one one once like tourist spot. At night you go you drink and party and then the next day you won't even go anywhere and that's gonna be like that for like the rest of your stay. Oh. So, so at that point I'm just like if you wanna go to Indonesia, go to Bali, yeah, and then go somewhere else. Mm. And if you only can afford to go to one place, go don't bother going to Bali. I see, I see. Truly. <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> Good to know. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. I'm sorry for going out of topic, Maria. No, I like it. Ramble. I like it. I, I if someone is passionate get, about something, I will let them talk for as long as they want. I I get salty about tourists only know about Bali and thinking Bali is a freaking country, dude. The moment when people say, "Oh, Bali is a country," oh. I I want to splash water onto <laughs> onto them. I swear to God. Oh no. I guess it's just me being local, you know? Yeah, yeah. Being a full on local does things to you when it's someone true. just slanders you in the slightest of ways. Mm-hmm. And not in like, and not in like, like, I guess, not in like, I guess, the racism. Okay, that's, that's a different story altogether. But if when people are just being really like, <laughs> being very ignorant and not doing their research, I will actually be like, Hi, my name is Catherine Persick. Welcome to my history class. I'm not good at history. I only get a passing grade. But you need to know your shit. Oh my fucking god. And I went on rant. <laughs> so. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Well, welcome to Indonesia, guys. Yes. I'm not the only one like this, by the way. Everybody Everyone's agrees. Like yeah. That makes sense. That's why we're very based. Mm-hmm. True, true. Okay. I realize now we're on level three already. So. <gasps> so yeah. yeah. Let's go. All right. So this is my question to ask. Um, and then th- for this one, we answer kind of for each other or like together, I guess, in a way. Together. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, so this question is asking, how do our personalities complement each other? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know the exact it's easier, way. It's easier to answer this if, if you replace personality with interest. Ah, uh, yeah. But, but like, this is personality, so this is like a different story altogether. Hmm. I... I'd say because like if I were to be like a little bit of a little shit sometimes, right? You'd <laughs> okay. be there to put me back in my place. That's right. <laughs> Wait, I don't want to put you back in your place. I think I I can like redirect conversations back to where they started from if we go off on a tangent. That's yeah. fine. If that's what you mean. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just like just now. <laughs> Shit, <laughs> I'm sorry once again. Dude. But I know it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. It's all good. It's all good. I think yeah. Like so far this stream, we have given each other space to talk about stuff, and that's been nice, yeah. right? And oh. uh, I think. Uh, I think we're both generally pretty nice people, pretty kind, <laughs> and like somewhat chatty, chatty enough. <laughs> so that works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this just brings me to a question, actually, Moni. Oh, sure. Are you like the type of person that, uh, like, 
you're pretty like you're a little bit shy when you're not approached yet but like the moment someone approaches you you just bloom out of nowhere and you start talking like crazy i hmm i guess so i think so you know what yeah <laughs> i think so i uh i it well it's not universal it's not with everybody because mm -hmm. there's definitely some people that i've met not at least irl a lot which i just like immediately i'm like i'm not gonna get along with this person probably like i can yeah. i can tolerate this person if they talk to me but th there's just something that gives me the ick for whatever reason mm. um but yeah i think normally i'm i'm pretty shy i've been i've been shy my whole life uh and streaming has maybe talk way more than i normally do <laughs> well, <that's nice. laughs> yeah so i've gotten more <clears throat> practice talking to people because of stream um but but yeah i think usually i'm like just a l introvert waiting to get adopted by an extroverted person so that i have a friend <laughs> uh, yeah yeah i think i think that's true i think that's true mm. yeah are you are you like that I'm usually like that, actually, mm. which is why I sweat at the amount of mutuals I have. Good lord. <laughs> I try to, like, if they like me and I like them, I try to open up, mm -hmm. at least. At least to the people that I feel like, oh, this safe to open up with. Yeah, getting to know them. Me, yeah, like, a little nosy, like, oh, <laughs> what video games are you playing right now, gamer? And they're like, what the fuck are you trying to say to me? I'm like, Ugh, hi. <laughs> I just go around everywhere, pop pop in there for like five minutes, and then pop to another spot in five minutes. I guess you could say I'm an ambivert. Mm, to be fair. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My MBTI says I'm INTJ, but the introvert and extrovert ratio is like 55. Oh, oh so it's like pretty close. Mm, yeah, that's why. I guess I could say I'm more of an ambivert. Mm -hmm. So it's like A N. T yeah J and J and J and J. I should get an ant and name him J. Even though he's gonna die like five minutes. Or no, fine. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess ants in your bakery is probably a bad idea. Now that I think about it, of course not. No, ants are really bad. Overall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I hate them. Oh actually. no! Oh wow! I don't want to have an ant named Jay anymore. Yeah, don't do it. Thinking don't do it. You don't have. You don't have to. It's okay. Can you be the one doing that? Uh, no. <laughs> I don't like ants <laughs> either. <laughs> Respectfully, pass. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This next one is you. Oh wait, it's another writing down one. We can skip this one as well. Uh, can I have your address board? <laughs> oh my gosh, no. I'm not gonna, you, we don't have to mail each other stuff. We're gonna skip this one. Okay, here, this one, this one, this one. Oh. Here's the problem, Moni. Mm-hmm. I don't watch Netflix. <laughs> well, well, it doesn't have to be Netflix. Do you watch anything, or do you have any show and or movie or thing? You, mm. Any any watchable item, even readable item. Okay, so from what I know about you, right? I think this is the problem because we don't really explore beyond like we don't explore a lot in terms of like interest in some of these questions we explore it based on personalities and feelings we talk about feelings a lot Good Lord. yeah a lot but, of um uh, i think i would say <coughs> that based on what you've been liking a lot lately have you actually uh it's actually my recent uh addiction as well have you actually watched the uh uh rascal does not dream of bunny girl senpai no have you watched that before mm -mm. i'd say that even though it looks like on the surface it's like a harem <laughs> okay anime, uh -huh. on the surface it kind of is but it's not and it's actually like a really nice 
uh, it's like a really nice emotional story we got going on. Mm. In fact, I actually recommend you to just read the novels. Mm. It's a novel? Yeah, the light novels are, I think if you want to get into it a lot easier, reading the light novels will be a lot better. Oh. I think they have a bunch of those in English already anyway. Nice. It's a pretty famous series. Yeah, I, I've Back definitely seen it novel. around, I think. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. I'm I'm trying to think if I have a recommendation for you. Because yeah, it is pretty hard because we didn't really talk about interest. We mostly just talked about feelings. Which is like Exactly. Whoa. That's like the reverse of most collapse. <laughs> <laughs> I think I don't know. I feel like all of my recommendations are pretty basic. Like, oh. like have you watched um, Kiki's Delivery Service? I have. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, I was just thinking about how you have imposter syndrome and like being an artist and like that all kind of relates to that movie. Sluts emoji. <laughs> <laughs> um, Damn it. I'm trying to think of something else. But I don't know. Maybe this part of this is like, you can discuss it now like what things you typically like what are you looking for like what do you want to watch and then maybe that'll help me try to recommend something I to you i think one thing i i'm getting into shoujo <gasps> actually oh yes okay because all of the all the anime i've been i watch are like either uh, shonen mm-hmm. or musical Mm. So mm-hmm. is is do we, do we we I don't have a lot of my in the in in my library mm-hmm, mm-hmm. at least so in my watch list. Okay, um, uh, this is my recent obsession. You might it's old though, so maybe you've seen it already. Um, Princess Jellyfish. That rings a bell, but I actually haven't watched it. Oh, okay. So I would highly recommend it. I think it's a lot of fun. I uh, it's it's from like I don't know. I want to say like the early two thousands probably. So it's like a, a little bit of an older art style. But I really like it. The premise is basically like there's this girl. Oh, actually, it's kind of related to art as well. But there's this girl, um, and she is really obsessed with jellyfish. She really is artistic as well. She's an artist and she draws a lot of jellyfish. Yeah. And but she feels very like unfeminine and she feels like she doesn't have a place and she lives in a house with a lot of other women that are also kind of in the same boat like they they're not dating anybody um, Mm -hmm. and they're just like really passionate about their weird little things like they all like like some of them like trains some of them like um, history some of them like other other random hobbies and they're really obsessed with them and they've like discounted femininity they discounted being like quote unquote the typical woman and they all are friends right and then one day there's this really beautiful girl she looks looks popular she has like all this makeup all this jewelry like she's really dressed up and then she helps the main character save a jellyfish that's like suffering in a pet shop and then they become friends but turns out the really hot girl is actually a boy that's cross-dressing Oh. And and yeah, and then like the the whole show is just about them like learning what it means to be a person, what what is femininity and why does it matter or not matter depending on how you look at it and like learning to love yourself um and learning to find your place in society and stuff like that and like all the characters are like adults, which is also pretty rare. So it's like more of a jose than a sh- the shojo. Um, oh, that's a that's a nice change of pace. Yeah, yeah. So it's really sweet and it's cute and the I yeah and it's not too long, so I would recommend it if you're looking for like um, something similar. Wait, so can I actually change my recommendation then? Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, so um, this is probably I think you already seen this. If you watch Pixar movies, uh-huh. have you watched Soul? Yes, I yeah, Damn I it. like Soul. Uh, Soul is really shit. nice. Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> fuck. Um, I guess another recommendation that I could give you is 
Uh, fuck. Oh, try, I'm trying to remember on the back of my head. Okay. So I'm a sucker for uh, what's the name? Like I said before, musical. <laughs> Mm -hmm. anime mm -hmm. a lot of people tend to dunk on love life a little bit oh however uh-huh if you like fantasy mm -hmm, i do the love life franchise actually released a spin-off anime that takes in this fantasy setting from like uh like a like from like their existing character so basically it's like a au you know oh Fantasy uh -huh. AU, fantasy idols. Yeah, and the main and the main character is a, uh, uh, who is like a like a failing idol, and mm -hmm. then like she has to go back to her hometown, and then like apparently in her hometown there's some magical being going on, phenomenon going mm -hmm. on that just kind of fucks around with like children's ears and all that because oh. it sounds like extreme sounds and all that and they yeah. can resolve what's going on along while also trying to make bonds with like the remaining girls i think it's a pretty wholesome anime yeah. it's just that uh there's a little bit of plot holes here and there but i think if That's you great. look past that and if you enjoy the visuals and the music i recommend uh this anime called johanna the partillion that's the name. Mm -hmm. You're gonna I need to you write just that look up down. Your honey, you just, you got it. You need to type it in the chat so that I remember I'm it. Gonna, I'm gonna type it. Okay. Uh, I think it's this one. Okay. I think that's how you spell it. Okay. I'll look I'll it up. Put it in the stream chat. Yeah, thanks. Okay. It's very really bubbly and everything. It's bubbly? Mm hmm. Cute. It's like a little bit more different. Your usual love life art style. Yeah, I feel like right now at least I've definitely been craving like just happy things. Like things that are about friendship between girls and or not even between girls, but like there's friendship between like people and like I guess somewhat girlier, like more feminine. Cause I, I have also been watching like so much shonen. Like shonen has really dominated the Anime, anime scene, scene. Yeah. so um sometimes i just go back to Orin high school host club just so that i'm like <laughs> where's my <laughs> where's my cross dressing <laughs> girly animes like <laughs> um but yeah but yeah that's uh, thank you thank you for the recommendation mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay next one is it me or you i think it's i think for... it's uh i think it's me? You think it's you? Okay. I think? It's fine. It doesn't really matter too much. Oh, okay. Do you believe everyone has a calling? So, I got found mine. Whoa. Mine. Whoa. I, um... I don't personally think so, actually. Mm. Yeah. I, well... Let me correct it. I think that everybody has a calling, but only for a specific time. I don't think that we are like destined to do just one thing with our lives because like, I don't know, like life is short, <laughs> you know, like I, even though I love art, I don't want to just be an artist. Like I want to do other things. Um, and, and maybe calling is not so much something that you do, but something that you are. This is getting really philosophical all of a sudden. But, um, I know, right? <laughs> what the heck? But I think, like, finding your calling is more like finding out um, what you're good at and what you do to, I don't know, like, why, why, why you enjoy life, basically. It's, it's not, like, just a, a thing that you do. It's not your job. It's not your position in society as like a, as like a a parent or like a I don't know whatever things that people describe as their calling. I think it's like, like why why are you here is 
based on what you want to do at that time that you're asking yourself. And I think it's allowed to change and it's allowed to grow as you become a different grow as you grow as a person. Um, Mm -hmm. So it's weird to say that you found it because like, I feel like it's flexible kind of. Um, Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. That's my philosophy, I guess. What about you? I think for me, uh, I don't believe in callings and mm. destinies and mm-hmm, all that mm-hmm. because, uh, and like, even like predictions and all that, I'm like, <laughs> that's not going to happen. What the fuck are you trying to say? <laughs> so uh, at that point, it, it was just me being like, thinking like, I think everyone can determine their lives for themselves. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, karma is karma, so be it. But I think you basically have most if not all control of your life and you can do whatever the heck you want with it if you want to obey to the rules go for it if you want to do a bunch of things go for it i think uh have a destiny or calling and everything like that that is something that's more of so of a uh i guess more of an old thinking now it's like it's like a it's like nothing that you think about nowadays. It shouldn't be something that like a mindset that should be carried over over the years, over the generations. Because it not only that it brings like a negative mindset because you have to like stick with your calling, quote on. It just uh it just more like <clears throat> it doesn't really develop much over time. You're basically running on a system at that point and that's very suffocating at least to me at yeah least to me. yeah i i totally agree i totally agree i think mm-hmm. yeah so i don't i don't believe in that kind of stuff you can do whatever the heck you want with it if you oh, yeah. calling is like that i'm like <laughs> oh bozo i'm not gonna follow that i don't care calling my ass call these call <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> I'm. D- d- please stop boosting my. Okay. Ego. Okay. I'm sorry. So oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I apologize. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Sorry. <laughs> okay. We're almost done. A couple more left. Okay. Ah. Uh, you can. Yeah. Uh, yeah what about me most surprised you? I'm oh this is hard actually because I don't have a lot of expectations to people me too uh, so uh I, I'm very very surprised of I guess you could say when you mentioned your computer science I was like oh wait is I didn't expect that I expect like something like agriculture <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, like biology, I guess, the plant uh, thing. Agriculture, because like a lot of people do that stuff nowadays recently, right? And I'm like, oh, computer science. Whoa. Mm-hmm. And you still do VTubing and, and art all on top of all that? Holy crap. Jeez. Yeah, well, the secret is that I slack off at work, but that's... <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, I'll, I'll, I'll tell that to your boss really quick. Hello. Oh, no. Oh no, Hello, boss, shit. please. Hello. Oh. Hello, Mr. Boss. Mr. Boss. Miss Boss. Company boss person. Company boss. I, I, I got some reports for you. <laughs> Damn, I'm surprised that you're a narc. <laughs> no! Oh! oh. Hey. But seriously, I, <laughs> I yeah, I, I also don't really have expectations for people because I think that's kind of like uh, if if we're if we're new and for like newly friends, it's like kind of unfair to box you in when I barely even know who you are. Exactly. Um, yeah. So I don't think I had any like big like whoa! I can't believe you're like this like. 
I'm surprised that, that your oven is broken, considering that you're a baker, I guess. That was... <laughs> uh, I'll be really honest. All the reason why I picked up the baker thing is because I love bread. Oh, so you're not even a baker. You're just a bread enjoyer. I'm a bread enjoyer. I love watching. Dude, I had a moment in time where I, I'm obsessed watching Instagram reels of people making sourdough. Ooh. That's like the beginning yeah. of it. Yeah, and then I and then on top of that, I wanted to bake, and I have want to have the motivation to bake. It's just the oven debuff, man. The oven debuff. I'm telling you, it's rough. That's the worst debuff that you can have as a baker. I think is right, the oven right. debuff. Yeah. Yeah, it's but pretty it's important. Okay. I still love my bread. Like I love my family. Yeah. So it's it's or, or along those uh, I don't know the saying anymore. I'm gonna be real with you. Okay, <laughs> we can go to the next question then. If you want. Yeah. There you go. It's yours. Whoa! What do you recommend? Oh, which crack there? Oh shit! Oh god! Um. Ahem. What do you recommend I let go of? <laughs> what do you say like that? If anything. Uh, I, well, yeah, I think like letting go of the idea that you're not creative. I don't know if that's true. Aww. I don't know if that's true. I feel like that's the brain worms a little bit. And I think every artist has it. So it's not like I'm like singling you out for like being like, how could you listen to the the little yeah. gremlin in your head that's like, yo, oh, you're not creative, right? Mm, 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 mm. Um, and I think everybody goes through periods of like a lot of creativity and then not as much creativity. It comes and goes. And I also think that's mm -hmm. something that can be trained. And so, um, yeah, I, I'm hoping that one day you'll be able to let go of the little gremlin inside that's like, you don't know how to have original ideas because you do you do make original stuff every 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 day every time you create something it's something that only you could create so mm -hmm. yeah thank you yeah well i have a problem here okay <laughs> because i have this mindset of like well people can do whatever they want it's not really my problem so i cannot really say anything i'm gonna be really honest I think the one thing I would say though is that I wish that uh you you take it a little bit easy on yourself with your art style. Your art style <laughs> is already very good. You take it a little bit easy. I know you want to improve, and that's like a really good mindset. Mm -hmm. That's a really good mindset to begin with. Mm -hmm. You just gotta take it easy. A little. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I appreciate it. Yeah, I will. I will take that to heart. Thank you. All right. Don't know what to say. I'll be honest. Oh gosh. <laughs> See, we can't even do well. I guess we can take a. Well, we can take a. Here, screen we can take a screenshot. Me too. Let's go. Wait, you, you have to go. On, you have to go in front of me. There you go. There you go. So that my hat isn't covering your face. Yeah. Uh. Uh. Wait. Let me take a selfie. Here we go. Ready? Three, two, one. Yay! Here, I, 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 I saved it. Freaking out. Let's go! I'm gonna, I'm gonna send it in, in Discord. Let's go! Yay! Why am I moving my mod around? You're, like, yeah. This is a habit Yay! I need to start. Yeah! I mean, that's the point of this collab thing, right? So yeah! we can like do dumb shit like this. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Hey. Crazy! You cannot do this without Ooh, the DLC. You oh. can. You G cannot. GG oh. non DLC havers. Wow! <laughs> I got my for fifty percent off during the Steam Summer Sale. Oh, you got it yeah. for sale. That's really dope. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. God damn it, man. Um, wait, look, I lost the picture. Where'd it go? No! I saved it somewhere. I just didn't look at what folder it saved in, so I don't actually know where they go. What do you mean the, the pictures? Like in my screenshots folder? Pictures folder. Pictures folder? Is it this? Oh, here it is. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. 
what it is most of the time. Yeah. At least for me. All right. Uh, I got it. Is it? Yeah, I got it. Oh yeah. my god, why am I so big? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'll stop. Okay. I'll stop moving with that. Stop and now we have the final card. It better be good. It better be good. Oh. It's a secret. Oh. Oh. <laughs> T Twit longer time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking, Modi, I'm joking. I'm never gonna oh. collab with Catherine again. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Hmm. I guess this is something that we have to do off stream. We have to do off stream then, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. that, if that's the case, we're done. Let's go! Send my therapy session a little bit. We pulled through at it then. How do we you feel? At the end. How do you feel about that? It feels really nice, actually. Actually, um, what's the name? I talked about a lot of things that I never thought I would be talking about in like in like a free to be space. Mm -hmm. But like I, but at the same time, it feels pretty good, you know. Yeah. Especially like in like in this concept. I think this is a really fun idea. Thank you, Moni. Oh, thank you. I'm glad. I'm glad that we were able to chat. And um, yeah, I do feel closer to you now. I've learned more about you and your life. I learned, I learned a lot of things about you. I still cannot get over the toenails. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah, every time I have the opportunity, I will pull that. I will pull that up because it's just like the 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 craziest thing that's ever happened to me but mm -hmm. but most of my life is pretty n normal <laughs> <laughs> yeah toenails my toenail trauma toenail. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but if you miss the toenail trauma story well gg i guess we'll have to save it for another time <laughs> go back to the vod yeah go watch, watch the, the vod. vod go watch the vod <laughs> but yeah that's it for today um, I know it's it's what time is it for you again? It's like early, is it early or is it late? I forgot. For me? Yeah. Oh, it's late for me. It's okay, late. It's like ten thirty. It's ten thirty eight. Yeah, but like it's late for me. Oh yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna let you get some rest. Um and yeah, thank you so much for spending time with me and chatting with me. Mm -hmm. And uh thank I had I had a lot of fun. Yeah. Thank you for having me, Moni. I really yeah. this is really fun, Moni. I'm glad. I know I know we had like other ideas to do this stream before, but I feel like this idea is suited a lot more for our <laughs> dynamic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So very happy about this collab. I, it's something very new to me. It's, it's, I guess on the receiving end, it's new to me. Yeah. But like, wow, but I had a lot of fun though. It's, it's nice to get to know you more. It's nice to talk about a lot of stuff, a variety of fact. So, thank you. And it's an honor to be the first one in the hot spring The hangout. first one, let's it's go. It's an honor. It's an honor. Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, wait, hold on. Oh. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. I cannot Whoa. believe I did. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, sh oh shit. Oh. Whoa. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> this is a habit of mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, mind. I'm very, I apologize. <laughs> I'm very excited using this collab feature. In fact, I think I only used it twice on three times on stream. In fact, I've only used this like and one it's... other time, so this is this is nice. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. I'm glad mm, mm, mm. that we can do this. Wait, so how are you gonna do the letter thing? The last. Question? Um, I mean, I guess we just DM each other on Discord. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I was about to pull out a text document. <laughs> oh damn! How much is how much do you have to say? I uh, know if Discord if the Discord word limit is not enough. Oh my gosh! <laughs> but I think it's true. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. I I throw money to Discord. It's a little bit sad. 
Yeah. <laughs> Same. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just yeah. for the external emotes, baby. Tee hee. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah. Thank you so much. And um, I will you. see you soon, one day, sometime. Yeah. Okay, I guess I'll... I'll head off now. That's true. I didn't. I didn't think about how to, how to end. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't bring me about this almost. I usually, but I'm very used to like when we when people go out with me. Yeah. Uh, I tend to stay with them until like the very end of stream. Oh like, well, yeah. I think we're gonna will be very different. I mean, we're gonna end the stream, but it's just I need to find somebody to bother. I need to find someone to raid. Okay. Um, so you don't have to stay for that, but you can. <laughs> mm, I do need to go to the bathroom. Okay, okay, no, no, no. Go. I think, I think I'll excuse myself. Go yeah, to the washroom, myself. and I'll, yeah, I'll see you around. Hey, right, thank mm. you for having me once again, Thank Mommy, you for thank coming. Thank you, Moni's chat for being very nice. Yeah, very yeah, sorry. they were mostly well-behaved. Yeah. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. All right, bye-bye, you. Bye, bye. See you later. Just fades away. <laughs> bye bye. Alrighty. Now, I gotta look for someone to bother. I don't know if any of my friends are streaming. If not, I will accept um, suggestions. Or. Um, let's see. Who should we bother? Um, well, there's this person that I have only recently just met, but I was in one of their Smasher passes, and they seem really nice, and they're like a fox, and I know you guys like foxes. I know you, some of you have a <coughs> bias against, uh, uh, for foxes with large booba for some reason. So... <laughs> Maybe because that used to be me. I don't know. <laughs> but now that I'm no longer a fox, I need you to. I need to get you your fox fix. Um. So we're going to bother the cute, cutie patootie maple chicken, which I think is such a cute nickname as well. Um. Here you go. We're gonna raid maple chicken. This is the raid message. The first one is if you're a subby, and the second one is if you're not yet a subby, copy your corresponding message. And then, um, yeah, uh, thank you all for tuning in today. I really appreciate it. I know it's like a new format, but I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, if you have any feedback for me, if you wanna leave any comments, feel free to mention it in the discord suggestions channel you can do that um and then uh yeah that's that's it that's it thank you Alrighty, i will see you all next time okay bye